Yeah, there it is. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host for this uh, brand new Daylight Savings Time edition of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Honestly, it wasn't because of Daylight Savings Time. Uh, I was trying to get an event published for the radio show tomorrow. I was running a little bit over. Sorry about that. But hope you are having a uh, wonderful Monday, magnificent Monday so far. Hey, if you would do me a favor, do what Joe just did. Drop me a comment in there. Let me know that you have watched the show. Doesn't matter if you're watching it live or catching the replay. Which I imagine some folks might be doing today since it's an hour earlier than it was on Friday. <laughs> that, I don't know. I think there's something about, uh, about that that gets our, um, well, they call your circadian rhythm all kind of twisted around there. It was, I actually it wasn't tough for me to get up this morning. It's tough to go to bed yesterday. That's what was giving me problems. Anyway, uh, do that. When you do that, that encourages me, lets me know that you're watching and, uh, sets you up so that Facebook can keep you connected to the conversation that goes on after the show is over. And I also promised you guys the other day that I would try to show you the, uh, so I can get my finger up there. Those are my, uh, I don't know if you'd call those vision boards or not. Actually, look what I can do now. We have the technology. So those are uh, kind of the different placards. I'll call them placards that I made up and kind of printed out to help keep me pointed in the right direction. There are uh, seven of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven of them. Uh, up there, right up over the whiteboard. See them every day. Um, all over them at least once a week to uh, make sure that my focus is in the right place, which is what I kind of what I want to talk about today. I titled today's show. Um, check the the note there. Your actions betray your priority. Remember, priority is singular because you can only have one. And even though I've got seven of those things up on the wall, I can't. I mean, from a, from a macro perspective, sure, I can pursue seven things at one time. Right. But can, when, when we're talking about our day, when we're scheduling our day, our week, our year, um, can we really have seven priorities? And so he, here's the, I mean, I'm going to cut straight to the chase here, right? Your actions betray your priority. If you say that your priority is, I don't know, let's say getting a new job and you don't peruse the many websites that have jobs on them. You don't send out any resumes. You don't apply for any jobs. Are you really looking for a new job? No. If you say that you want to grow your business, but you're not doing anything necessary to attract, uh, retain or deepen relationships with existing customers, are you really serious about growing your business? No. If you say you want to, oh, let's, um, uh, let's pick a good one here. Oh, if you say you want to lose weight, but you can't do, you know, that and push back from the table or put down the chips. That's my, oh, well, that's my vice. Um, then you're not really doing, I mean, your, your actions are betraying your priority. On the other hand, if you work diligently to build your business, People are going to know. And that's the thing about, about this, right? It's your actions betray your priority and other people can see your actions. So if you're wondering why you're not getting these partnership opportunities, in fact, we've got a great partnership conversation coming up tomorrow on the radio show. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So be sure and stick with me to hear about that. Um, a great partnership conversation. I think I said opportunity, a great partnership conversation coming up tomorrow. If you're wondering why you're not getting those partnership opportunities, maybe it's because those potential partners see you're not really working like you should be in order to build your business. So maybe rightly or wrongly, they think you're not serious. And we talked about this some last week, right? About, um, frustration is a function of expectations, setting other people's expectations, Right. If you don't want people to to come to their own conclusions and set their own expectations, then you need to proactively set those expectations 
establish, manage those expectations for them. All right. So today's admonition, today's encouragement is to check your actions. Check your actions. Are they supporting what you're telling yourself you want to accomplish? That's kind of that. That might even be one of the most insidious parts of this whole thing is we can tell ourselves that we want something and then act completely contrary to that. So are your actions consistent with what you are telling yourself you want? If they're not, you need to work on that. If you need any help with that, I know somebody that might be able to help. Give me a call. Send me a message. I'll be happy to, to get you started in the right direction. Now, regarding tomorrow in the radio show, that happens every Tuesday at 8 o'clock Central Daylight Time. Uh, talk radio for entrepreneurs on WTKIRadio.com and right here on Facebook. Tomorrow I have a couple of uh, guests in the studio with me. Rayleigh Stevenson and Terry Porter are going to be in the studio. And we're going to be talking about uh, business partnerships, the partnership that they've had in place for some time, how that got established, the benefits of both sides of that. Um, lots of great stuff. Rayleigh's a photographer. Terry uh, owns and is office manager at um, Functional Chiropractic here in town. But their lessons can apply to you no matter where you are, right? Especially how they got started in this partnership. That's a really interesting story. So be sure and tune in for that tomorrow. You can listen live uh, over the air, 1450 AM, 92.9 FM, or uh, the best place to do it is right here on Facebook. So you can join in the conversation uh, and whatnot. I sent an invitation out or I have an, an event invitation uh, on the website um, or on Facebook. <clears throat> Just uh, in Facebook, search for Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. I'll get you to the right place. I'll post it here on this page too. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, yes, Abby, the radio show is streamed. It's streamed just like this live, um, on Facebook, or you can listen to it on TuneIn, uh, or you can actually, no, I don't put it up on a podcast, but you could catch the replay here on Facebook, uh, also. So awesome. Great. And I'll put a link to that, uh, in the notes down uh, of this show. And I'll put the, uh, the event, <clears throat> excuse me, the event on the, the, um, on my page here on Facebook as well. All right. Whew. That's it. I ripped right through that one. I hope that you find that helpful. I, in fact, I kind of hope that it, it, um, I don't want to say stepped on toes, but stepped on toes a little bit. I mean, Look, I, I've got this term that me and kind of my close circle use. I encourage them to use it with me. It's called dog food, right? Sometimes you have to eat your own dog food. And this is some of the dog food that I need reminding of, right? We all do. I think we get so tied up and, and wrapped up in the details of the day to day that we can miss the big picture. And then you string a couple of days together and all of a sudden, you know, you feel like you're way off course. That's one of the reasons why I like to have these little signs up here and as I'm planning, you know, for the upcoming week or month or quarter. Um, and, and it, it gives me an opportunity to, to focus on each one for just a few minutes and reorient my priority to achieve those outcomes. All right. So whether you use those or, you know, whatever you use, make sure that your actions are supporting your priority. All right. That's it for today. Be sure and join me again tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. And Hey, if you find our conversations, uh, interesting or helpful, I would appreciate if you would share it out with your network. That would be fantastic. All right. That's it. You guys have a magnificent Monday. Talk to you again tomorrow.